We knew from day one it was going to be an arm wrestle. We knew it was going to be tough. They're the best team in the world. They've got some conditions that are suiting them. All that, we knew it. We knew it from day one, but we also knew what our game plan was. And we, you know what? We've been bloody close. But the only thing is, Finchie knows this. Finchie's not playing this test match. We've had a good talk about it, mate. It's time to recharge your batteries to get ready for the one day is now and to help us win the World Cup. The only thing for me, boys, is there's been a lot of distractions. There's that old saying, you're never as good or as bad as people say. Uh, two weeks ago, we had a brilliant test win against India. We're all celebrating, we're singing the song. One week later, it's like we're the worst cricket team in the world again. Winning can paper over some stuff. Losing all of a sudden, you know, we've got a bad vibe in the team. We've got, you know, cultural, the selectors have got no idea what we're doing. Da 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 all that noise. And we've said from day one, it is all noise. Australia needed to win the toss in Sydney. I've been at a couple of overseas venues at the toss where Australia desperately needed to win and choose. And when they have, there's this great sense of relief. All right, we're in the test match. When that coin fell India's way, there was a sigh. So the news from the middle is that India have won the toss and have elected to bat first. I reckon there was a sigh in the middle there was definitely a sigh in the stands. In here in Sydney, when you lose the toss, you've got to make uh, inroads with that new ball. What you want against a subcontinent team is a bit of pace, a bit of pace and, and bounce, and, you know, they were, they were quite slow wickets. Melbourne was bouncing that high. This was probably bouncing that high. Danger signs for the Australians, I think. And then Pajara battered us just battered us into oblivion. That is a magnificent 100 from Pajara, his third of the series. This man just bats and bats and bats. India, well and truly in control. I hate the word comfortable, because if you're comfortable, that means it can be taken away like that. So I was trying to make him feel comfortable. Oh, he bored yet? Like, come on, what? And all he said was, no, bro. Which drove me nuts. <laughs> and India, in total control, stumps on day one, four for 303. Right, how was that? I felt like we were pretty flat. For a test match playing for your country, I thought we were pretty, pretty flat and pretty poor. Wasn't it? We got some decent spells together to, and we looked like getting wickets, but we weren't aggressive hitting that wicket long enough. And we usually are, aren't we? Where was that? Why? Playing a test match that matters. Something really it matters because it could be too all. And we're going, we're flat. We can't be flat. And we can't be not aggressive. Where's that aggression, lads? It's got to come tomorrow. It's got to. There's no fucking flatness from anybody. The start of day two, India on the verge of making history here at the Sydney Cricket Ground for the Australians. They need to make early inroads. Us India are going to keep batting and it will be tough going. Pajara broke them, he ground them down and they just ran out of path. You can see the fatigue in the Australians bowling attack. They're just getting the life sucked out of them. The pain is getting popped on the Aussies now. And there's the sign from Virat Kohli. He's decided that 622 on the board is absolutely fine for him. You can't fault your effort. No doubt about it, we cannot fault your effort. Days like this are very sobering, Ash. 
conditions certainly are as tough as they, as they get for bowling, which is disappointing from our point of view. But we've seen in the last two days, probably the first two days in Melbourne, we're still a fair way off being the best team in the world.